timeliness of response. People on a fixed income who have to spend $500, $1,000, $2,000 to replace a heating system need responses today. Not in three months, not in six months, not in a year. So we ask this body for their help in addressing that major issue for those people in greatest need. Probably the other thing that's critical for us is the problems remain. The lack of gas was sort of the beginning of the problem for us. We still have residents and businesses dealing with frozen pipes, trying to deal with the effects of those pipes, and again, dealing with that expense, it has to be borne up front in most cases. Senator also asked about the question, and I think focused on Espanol, about why us. That question remains in our community. And though I would hope that our country has gone beyond the point where we're picked out because we're poor, because maybe our, much of our community is uneducated, that question gets asked to me virtually every single day. Is Bernalillo an easy target? Is Espanol an easy target? We've heard the technical side, but I hope that I have the opportunity to visit with the gas company people to ask more questions so I understand that we simply were the only easy choice and not just the easiest easy choice. I agree with the chairman that we need to move forward. Our citizens are counting on me. They're counting on you. We hope that you will do everything you can within your power to help us move forward and look forward to New Mexico Gas working with us to get our community moving forward because right now we aren't moving forward. Thank you, sir.